Every single business, no matter the type and size, should have a Facebook business page in 2022. This will help your business establish an online presence, build authority, connect with your audience and more. Now creating a Facebook business page is free and can be simply set up in under 10 minutes. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here then thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to gently take your hand and walk you through this simple step-by-step -step process of how to create a Facebook business page in 2022. Okay, so before we launch into Facebook, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this updated Facebook business page tutorial for 2022. <music> Okay, so to create a Facebook business page for your business, all you need to do is simply head over to facebook.com and then simply log in to your account. If you don't already have an account, then come down and click create new account and this will take you through the process of creating a Facebook account. So go ahead, log into your Facebook account or create a new account if you don't have one and we'll meet you inside your Facebook account. And once you've arrived inside your Facebook account, simply navigate up to the menu in the top right hand corner. Then simply navigate down and click on page. And this is where we can go ahead and create our Facebook business page by simply filling out the information on the left hand side. On the right hand side you can see a preview of what your Facebook business page will look like on desktop as well as on mobile. So what we're going to do is select desktop and then navigate over to the left hand side and the first thing we want to add is our page name. Ideally what you want to do is add your business name. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is create a Facebook business page for the local business called Better Builders NZ. So for this tutorial, we're going to use this example. Then once you've gone ahead and added your business name under page name, simply navigate down to category. Now this is where you can add up to three categories that best describe and represent your business. So my primary category that best represents Better Builders NZ is going to be Construction Company. And down here I can select Construction Company. So essentially what you want to do is type in keywords that are related to your business and select up to three categories that best represent your business. I'm going to go ahead and add two more. And down here you can see a preview of how our business name will appear on our Facebook business page as well as our primary category, the first category that we selected. Then below category what we want to do is add a description, a brief description about our business. If you have a website what you can do is copy and paste the about us information on your website and paste that under description. What I'm going to do is quickly create an example. And as you can see, I've created a brief description that shares a bit about our business. Then once you've added a description, simply come down and click create page. And just like that, we've created our Facebook business page. Now what we want to do is simply scroll down to the bottom and go ahead and add a profile picture as well as a cover photo to our Facebook business page. And down here is where your profile picture is going to appear. So what we want to do is navigate over to add profile picture. Now this ideally should be your business logo. And you want to upload your logo to your profile picture as a PNG with the dimensions of 500 by 500 pixels. This is what we recommend and if you need to you can resize your profile picture through Facebook. So what I'm going to do is click here and upload a logo that I created earlier. Now if you currently don't have a logo or a profile picture that you want to use or you don't have the right dimensions for your logo then what you can do is use canva.com which is a free design tool that allows you to create logos and other marketing materials completely for free. I actually use canva to create this logo in minutes using a template from canva. Then once you've added your profile picture, come down and add a cover photo. 
and I'm going to upload this cover photo. Now again, we recommend that you upload your cover photo as a PNG with the dimensions of 850 by 315 pixels. Again, you can use canva.com to create your cover photo from scratch. And that's exactly what I did in preparation for this tutorial. Now, if you want to learn more about how you can make the most of canva.com to create your profile photo or cover photo for free, then what I'll do is link a few beginner tutorials down below to help you get started with Canva. And just like that, we've completed the first step to creating our Facebook business page. The next step is all about further optimizing our Facebook business page by adding and changing the appropriate settings. However, before we go ahead and click save down below on the left hand side, what we want to do is make sure that our Facebook business page looks good on the desktop preview as well as the mobile preview. Then when you're happy with the overall look of your Facebook business page, simply navigate down to the bottom left hand corner and click save. And because Meta, formerly known as Facebook, owns WhatsApp, we can go ahead and connect our Facebook page to our WhatsApp number. And this essentially allows you to communicate and engage with your visitors and customers directly through WhatsApp. But what we're going to do is exit out of this for now and then come down and click leave. However, you can complete that process if you use WhatsApp. Now, because we've completed the initial steps to creating our Facebook business page, our business page is now live online and people can find our business page. So because we still need to further optimize our page and change and add some settings, what we're first going to do is unpublish our page. And then once we've completed all those settings, we can then publish our page. To do that, simply navigate over to the left hand side and scroll down and select settings. Then navigate up to the top and locate page visibility and click here. Come down and select page unpublished and then come down and click save changes. And then we're going to keep the page isn't finished yet and then click next and then select unpublish. And as you can see, your page is now unpublished. Republish your page soon to connect with your audience on Facebook. And that's exactly what we're going to do as soon as we've completed the additional settings. So come down and click close and then navigate back to your Facebook business page by selecting your business name in the top left hand corner. OK, so before we publish our page to our audience, what we want to do is navigate down to add a button. What we want to do is add a call to action button that we want our visitors to use when they land on our Facebook business page. Click add a button and then select the appropriate action that you want your visitors to take when they land on your Facebook business page. What we're going to do is click call now and I'm going to go ahead and add my number. And then if you decided to select this option and you've added your phone number, come down and click save. And as you can see, the call to action button on our Facebook business page is a call now button. People can click that button and they will be able to call our business. Then we want to navigate over to create username. Basically adding a username helps with the discovery of your business page. So what we're going to do is click create at username. Ideally, what you want to do is add a username that is similar to your business name. So what I'm going to do is add our business name down here. And if you see this green tick, that means you can use that username. Now, if your username is already taken, then what you need to do is create variations of your business name of your username. However, make sure that it is as close as possible to your business name. Then come down and click create username and then click done. And just like that, we now have a username. And now what we want to do before we go ahead and publish our Facebook business page is make sure all our settings are correct. Under this section here, set your page up for success. We want to make sure that we complete all 13 steps. At the moment, you can see that we've completed six steps. And all we need to do is complete these three sections. Now the first section up here you can see has already been completed. Establish your page's identity. If we click here, you can see that we have completed all these five steps under the page's identity. So if we click here again, what we want to do is navigate through each of these two final stages. Simply go ahead and click provide info and preferences. Then scroll down. 
And what you wanna do is take the time to complete each of these five steps. So first, what you wanna do is add a website if you have one. If you do not have one and you want to quickly create a free website, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will show you how to create a free website using Google Sites. So go ahead and add your website, then come down to location, add your location, your physical business location, then come down to business hours and add your business hours. Then down here, you wanna make sure that you add your business phone number. And then finally, you have the option to link WhatsApp to your Facebook business page. And then once you've completed these five steps, simply scroll down and click on introduce your page. And this is where you have the option to invite your friends on Facebook to like and follow your Facebook business page. So you can go ahead and click invite friends to ask your friends to support your business page. And then last but not least, we have the option to create a welcome post. And then once you've gone ahead and completed each of those three stages and the 13 steps, what we can do is publish our Facebook business page if you're ready to go live and start using your Facebook business page. So to publish our page, all we need to do is navigate over to the left hand side and locate settings, then navigate up to page visibility again and click here, and then select page published and click save changes. And congratulations, just like that, your page is now published. To return to your Facebook business page, simply click on your business name in the top left hand corner. Now, before we finish up, I just want to briefly share some of the features of your Facebook business page and how you can make the most of your business page. Now, if we navigate down the page, this is where you can create a post. Now a post could be anything to do with your business, it could be testimonials, it could be about your products or services. You can create as many posts as you like to share with your audience. And if your visitors send you a message on Messenger, you can view those messages under Inbox or you can simply navigate up to Messenger in the top right hand corner and that will show all your business page messages as well as your personal profile messages. Now, if we navigate down below our profile picture, you can see this menu navigation over here. So basically, if a visitor clicks on services, they can see your services, they can see your reviews or your shop. If you want to change this navigation section here, simply click more, scroll down and click edit tabs. And this is where you can rearrange your navigation tabs. So for example, if I wanted to move about and I wanted to drag this next to home, I can drop that in here. And now we have home, about, services and reviews. You can also turn off each of these tabs if you don't wanna show them on your business page. And then you can also reset your tabs back to default by clicking reset to default. But what I'm gonna do is leave that as it is and then navigate back to our business page. And then if we navigate down to insights and click here, and under insights, you can see basic analytics in regards to the performance of your Facebook business page in terms of the engagement, post engagement, reach, likes, and more information down here. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in today's tutorial, helping you create your Facebook business page in 2022. And there we have it guys, that is it for this step-by-step -step process of how to create your Facebook business page in 2022. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.